Welcome back on the Islander Digital Network, powered by AP Texas. I'm Doug Kesterson. He's head coach Royce Chadwick. Coach, the ladies picked up their first win of the season, 78-70 over St. Edwards. What part of their execution would you most please with in Friday's game? Well, you know, this team has proven they can score points. We run the basketball down the floor, and we are aggressive. We're a much better basketball team on the offensive end. I thought we did a good job in the, that game of changing our defenses, going from zone to man and then back. I thought we kept them off balance by doing that. We got to get better uh, with our, our defense continuity and that we got to be able to play through the 30 second shot clock. We kind of lost our, our uh, composure down the stretch yeah. a, a, again, and we, we have to be better at finishing games. When I looked at the box score, I saw numbers that jumped out at me, 46 points off the bench and 19 steals. Which were you most surprised by? Well, number one, we have 10 starters on our team. Okay. So when we start the game, there are five people on the bench that are just as deserving as the five that are out there. So we never know, you know who's going to be on that night. And when you have young players, they're extremely inconsistent. You'll have a freshman that will have a great game on one night. Next night she really can't catch the basketball because they are not experienced enough to fight through the tough times. So we have to go trial and error till we figure out who's having a good game and then get them out there on the floor. I did want to mention that our lone senior, Gianna Wright, is a fall 2020 graduate with a degree in psychology. Uh, any uh, great words about Gianna? And you challenged her today, correct? Absolutely. Uh, you know, the, what we had last year was eight seniors, and each senior had a role of leadership to bring to our team. And they did a great job of bringing it. This year, we do not have but one, and she has to bring all eight of those roles. It's a Herculean task, plus she's playing multiple positions. But she is what the NCAA is all about. The NCAA, when I started this, was about having a student-athlete experience. It wasn't about coming here and preparing yourself for the pros. It was about coming here, representing an institution, getting a degree, and being exemplary on and off the floor. She is the epitome of an NCAA athlete and what they are proud of. Absolutely, Coach. Uh, Concordia t Tornadoes up today. What can you tell us about them? This is their first game, just like St. Edwards. Very little. Uh, we don't know a whole lot about them. We, they have the same coach as last year, so we're assuming they'll run the same things that they did last year. I'm sure they have new wrinkles. I'm sure they have uh, players that we don't know anything about, so we have to adjust on the fly. But, you know, it, it's a situation where we've played enough games that we're going to have to adjust on the fly during the year because teams that we play in January will have added new wrinkles in the week. So it'll be a great test for us. How's the team feeling so far as they prepare for the second game in less than 48 hours? Well, I think it's hard. I think when you have young players, they, they think they're tired way before they really are tired. Uh, you, you talk to the NBA people and they'll tell you the number one thing that helps them prepare from game to game is rest. Now, Haley Campbell has been una unable to practice. We'll be saving her for the game because she's got uh, some, some injuries. So she'll be a little rusty getting in there. Uh, Jade won't play tonight, so you know, we're, we're, we're going to be able uh, – we won't have her in the lineup. But everybody else has got nicks and bruises, and you have to learn to fight through it because when you get to Katie, you play night after night after night. And so we, this is dress rehearsal for what we're about to see. Well, Coach, let's get another W today. Best of luck. All right, thank you. Wraps up the conversation with head coach Royce Chadwick. Stand by. Starting lineups are coming up next. Islander Digital Network, powered by AEP Texas.